I predict the Giants put up 30 points on the Panthers and Carolina moves to 14-0 anyway. I never would have thought the Panthers would be the number one scoring team in football, especially after they lost their best receiver, Kelvin Benjamin, to a knee injury in camp. But Cam Newton is playing at a very high level. The Giants have the least efficient pass rush in the NFL. I just don't think they can get enough stops. I predict the Colts beat the Texans to regain the AFC South lead, regardless of who Indianapolis starts at quarterback. Listen, nobody, especially me, wants to watch Charlie Whitehurst against TJ Yates. But even if it comes to that, I just don't believe the Colts are going to lose two straight division games after winning their previous 16 in a row. I predict the Steelers get another big win, this time at home against the Denver Broncos, and it's the Pittsburgh running game that leads the way. Broncos are probably one of the few teams in the NFL that can actually match up with those Steelers receivers. They also happen to be the number one defense in the league in terms of yards allowed per rush. But D'Angelo Williams, averaging 4.7 yards a carry, done an excellent job filling in for Le'Veon Bell. I think he delivers. I predict it's still a three-way tie atop the NFC East as of Sunday night, and that's because the Redskins and the Eagles join the Giants as losers. I don't even know if this is bold at this point, but I think this might be a race to seven and nine, and that's assuming there's no ties. 